All right, so this is gonna be a bit of a special episode because normally I would never in a million years review a reality show, but it just so happens that I didn't have any time whatsoever this week to, to watch anything aside from the final episode of this bullshit uh, that my girlfriend sort of roped me into watching with her. Um, so the premise of Love is Blind is that they put various men and women in these pods where they can talk to each other and, you know, they can talk to each other without seeing each other. They're not allowed to discuss their looks, they're not allowed to go on the internet to check social media, and therefore they have to make connections based purely on their conversations. And then they propose to each other, and they then they get to see each other in person for the first time, they spend a few weeks together, which leads to the weddings in the final episode, and they get to, the, the ones that are still remaining, they get to decide for the final time whether they want to get married or not. So. Maybe it seems like a somewhat interesting premise for an experiment, but make no mistake, this is just trash level television. Uh, manipulative editing, um, manufactured drama, crazy attention seeking people, everything is here. Uh, I personally think it would have been interesting or more interesting if they put some really deformed people in there, like physically ugly for real, just to see the surprise on people's faces when they get the reveals. But in reality, they're all average to good looking anyway, so. There's not much drama on that front. And you know, the quality really depends on the season. I've, I've seen a few already. Um, if they manage to get some entertaining drama people uh, in there, then it is funny. Uh, if not, it can get kind of boring. Uh, I'd say season six was fairly weak in this regard. And as a result, they had to stretch some of some parts out into infinity. So some of the episodes are like 10 minutes of really spicy content and 50 minutes of bullshit that makes you go to sleep. Um, one extremely funny aspect throughout all the seasons has been the music for, for me. They, they use these pop songs in every other scene that, where the lyrics just tell the audience <laughs> exactly what emotions to feel and what is going on, really dumbing it down to the lowest common denominator. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I did have some fun watching the show. I mean, if, if I just zero didn't enjoy it, I, I wouldn't have watched as much of it as I have. I did sort of get into it against my better judgment. Every new season I say I'm not going to watch anything this time around and I end up checking more and more or less of it um, with when my girlfriend is, is doing that. In this case I watched the whole thing uh, and in retrospect I think it was a waste of, it wasn't a very good use of my time uh, aside from you know just being a kind of silly bonding activity but just as, as a piece of content I don't think it's good. Uh, I'd compare the whole thing to sort of getting out of the club, pissed drunk at 3 a.m and getting a shitty kebab. If you're already in that situation, yeah, the kebab will taste good, you might enjoy it some, uh, but you will regret it in the morning. And obviously the most reasonable approach is not to get into that situation in the first place. So not to watch Love is Blind in the first place and get morbidly interested.